Something that I've been wondering about for quite some time is how impact damage works. Uh, it's been apparent to me for some time that cavalry that charges an infantry or cavalry unit doesn't just do weapon damage, it also does impact damage. How that is calculated and how much damage is done purely by the impact of the cavalry has sort of eluded me for a while, but someone was nice enough to make a mod that I requested where cavalry has its melee attack, weapon damage, bonus versus large, and charge bonus removed. So all the damage done by this cavalry unit is going to be made by the, uh, the force or the kinetic energy that it impacts upon uh, an infantry unit. Now I've tested that it works. These In extended melee, these units do zero damage. They can't kill anything in extended melee. So what we have here is a line of cavalry units all the way from very light to super heavy. And one important thing to note is that uh, shock cavalry overall has higher mass than uh, melee cavalry. So very light melee cavalry, mass of 150. And here we have very light shock cavalry with a mass of 250. They have the same charge speed. So that should allow the shock cavalry to do more impact damage on the charge. Without further ado, let's see how many of these hillmen we can kill with impact alone. And um, the very light, the very light uh, melee cavalry is going to have significant problems causing uh, causing uh, impact damage. You can see that it, it's able to get some kills with several cycles. But against a fresh unit of Bacturian Hillmen, even they are going to be able to withstand the repeated charges of a very light unit. So this is comparable to something like horse archers trying to cause impact damage to a stationary unit. These Bacturian Hillmen, they're not getting their map maximum bracing bonus because they're only two ranks deep. But they are getting a bracing bonus because fire at will is turned off. And you can see even these Bacturian Hillmen are, are going to start losing men due to cycle charging cavalry. Uh, very light cavalry that doesn't have a weapon. This is all impact damage being done. So very light cavalry has done by impact alone uh, Let's see here 50 kills by impact alone And they're going to start dying now, but here we have the shock cavalry and as you can see the shock cavalry is going to displace the Bacturian Hillman further than the very light melee cavalry and the casualties are going to start happening significantly faster. And these two short tests got me very excited because this shows how important mass is. With a hundred more mass, see how quickly the Bacterian Hillmen are getting destroyed. This has nothing to do with weapon damage. There is no weapon damage. This is only a hundred more mass causing this amount of damage. And just for fun, I charged these Bacterian Hillmen uh, because they don't have any... <laughs> weapons to do damage with. So here we have um, light melee cavalry with a mass of 200. And that is also the uh, melee cavalry has a mass of 200. The shock cavalry has a very light shock, has a higher mass than the light uh, melee cavalry. But you can see that the increased mass from very light also factors in significantly in how much damage they're able to do against the Bacterian Hillmen. The Bacterian Hillmen are now getting wrecked by impact, impact damage alone. And something else worth noting is how quickly a unit gets up. So a very heavy infantry unit, let's just pause it, a very heavy infantry unit is going to spend uh, use 8 seconds in getting back up when it's been knocked down. Let's just see how fast a medium unit gets up, because this can cause significant problems in the game. If you charge, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, light shock cavalry and it has a mass of 300. So significantly higher than very light melee cavalry. Now let's just see how long these guys take in getting up. There we're going to follow this guy. Hopefully he survives. He survives, looks like. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he took about five seconds in getting back up. And that means that if you charge into medium infantry, like for example, your uh, very dangerous Levy Freeman, you have five seconds to get out before you start getting counterattacked. So it's very important, in my opinion, to cycle charge more rapidly than most people do, uh, especially with their shock cavalry. Because impact damage is so massive that if you can inflict 
rapid cycles on the enemy without taking return damage, that's going to be the best use of your cavalry. So you can see the Bacter Hillmen are getting wrecked by impact alone, and now we're only at light shock cavalry. So this is basically your Sarissa cavalry without weapons being able to absolutely wreck Bacter Hillmen. Now of course these Bacter Hillmen don't have fire at will turned on. So they would do damage uh, with fire at will. Here we have medium melee uh, charging into the Bacter Hillmen. Uh, medium melee has a mass of 500 here. And you can see the Bacteran Hillmen are not happy about getting charged by even medium melee cavalry. So this would be uh, Shittasen cavalry without weapons charging Bacteran Hillmen to ranks deep. The impact alone, if you get a good charge, the impact alone is devastating. And you can see how far they go flying. Just a few cycles and the unit starts dying very nicely. Then we have, uh, let's see, this is medium shock cavalry. And these would be your medium melee cavalry units. So, presumably, medium melee cavalry, due to their lower mass, should take a few more cycles to kill the Bactrian Hillmen, but they're still be able to displace the Bactrian Hillmen significantly, knocking down the entire unit. Here we have heavy melee cavalry. So, this would be a unit comparable to heavy horse, and they are also able to significantly displace the Hillmen unit, and one charge by impact alone is able to take down, let's see here, um, so this is this is uh, 46 kills, and with 45 health, uh, 15 armor, that is a significant amount of hit point damage done simply by simply by cycle charging. And that is why I chose these hillmen, because they are only medium. They have low armor value, uh, and they should should uh, shouldn't be able to to reduce a lot of the damage done against them. So again, with the uh, heavy cavalry charge, and at this point, the Bactrian Hillmen are simply gone only by the impact of these heavy cavalry units, and if you get out fast enough, you're not going to be hit on the return. So this is a very efficient way to use cavalry. Now against a unit like Hillmen, you probably could leave them in there and not take a whole lot of damage, but against dangerous enemy units that has a bonus against large, it's going to be beneficial to get in and get out. There are a few exceptions to this rule, which we will look at in another video. Here we have very heavy shock cavalry, and very heavy shock cavalry wrecks by mass alone. This is, this is just impact damage. Only impact damage caused 82 casualties on the very heavy shock cavalry. Uh, so it's just insane how much of the damage done by cavalry is purely impact damage. And then we have very heavy melee. We should we should see similar results against the Bactrian Hillman. One charge, mass of 700, and the Bactrian Hillman are wrecked. Not as devastating as the very heavy shock, of course. But then we have the big daddy. The uh, let's see here. Just pause it. Then we have the super heavy, and this is super heavy melee for some reason. But super heavy shock also has uh, mass in the thousands, so this should be representative. Of what happens when a unit like a cataphract charges in and how much impact damage is done only and the, the ground isn't completely even here which was unfortunate so this is going to be slightly uphill but still we should be able to get a good clean charge here and see how many of the back turn hillmen get destroyed you can see almost in the entire unit at the point of impact is knocked back and down and when the casualties start pouring in uh, the Bactrian Hillman just took yeah, just about a hundred uh, hundred kills on the charge there. So that means that if we say a hundred uh, damage was done, by impact damage alone, this unit did at least 450 uh, damage. It must have done more since these, these uh, Bactrian Hillman have uh, an armor value. So... <laughs> Um, I'm very happy with these results. It, they confirmed something I have uh, suspected for quite some time, that the impact of cavalry alone is worth doing rapid cycling for, because it maximizes uh, the damage done by the cavalry while minimizing the amount of uh, damage you're going to take in return. 
Because if you're charging medium, medium infantry, you have five seconds to get out before the unit gets back up and starts doing damage to you. So, now this isn't to say that this is the most optimal way of doing it in most cases, but it does highlight that impact damage for cavalry is great and anything that reduces we should we i'm going to try this in multiple scenarios and test this thoroughly i've already done a series of tests but just as i'm talking about this i've, I've gotten several ideas to how on how to modify this to try different things so charging uphill charging in forest charging in water charging downhill to see how the speed of the unit affects how much impact damage is done so i think we'll have a great series of very interesting tests that is going to highlight the importance of using cavalry to its greatest effect and one of the reasons why i think this is so important is because one of the best counters most readily available and most cost efficient counters to melee infantry is potentially cavalry if it's used correctly strength and honor